man. See that? That's some soul sister, okay? Because when I tell you, you know, tell you guys that we are doing amazing things in the space of entrepreneurship. So thank you guys for joining us back after that music break here on Hot Rock Music Radio. This is Candace Joseph, your business guru. Now let me tell you something. I understand this is Sunday night, but let me tell you about Monday through Saturday. You got to get into the greatness of high volume music radio. Okay, period. Okay, you have to do it because when I say, you know, yeah, we have on air personalities that are on for maybe four or five hours a day. But the rest of the day, all you're going to hear is music every decade, every genre. You're going to hear a little bit of gospel. Then you hear some rock and roll. Then you hear some blues. I mean, it, it, it crosses spans, decades, you know, it's it just great music all the way around. So you guys have to check out High Music Radio. You know, if you got a friend out there and they got a smartphone, go ahead and go to your app store and download High Volume Music Radio. And just tune into the greatness, okay? Because we got people on like Goldie, okay, that comes on on Saturdays. He gonna bring you that funk, gonna make you wanna pull out your afro, picking your bell bottoms and go at it. Then we got Indie Wednesdays with Aunt Boogie, okay? He plays the best in indie music and everything that's ever came out of Indianapolis, okay? So when I tell you that we have great music, we have great music and you know, check out Shinika Grant on Thursday nights. Check out Rain and Machette on Saturdays while you, you know, you know how they go. You know how back in the day you said that Soul Train, you put on Soul Train hey. and you get up in the morning and clean the house. OK, so Rain and Machette for Brown Sugar Express. When I say they're the sisters that every week they have a theme music, a theme, you know, to the songs that they play and they're going to get the hits in. They're going to ask for the listeners to put it in the sweetener bag. And I got a sweet tooth for them every Saturday. So you <laughs> tune in. And, you know, all during the week, we got relationship, you know, talk with, um, you know, <laughs> real talk with and relationships with Miss B. When I said she talk about some things on Friday night that make you want to sit there and say, OK, let me grab my cranberry juice and let me sit here with my candle and go. Mm, because when she, I say she talk about some real life, she talk about real life. But you know what? My next guest is someone that I met in New Orleans and I was very honored to meet her. So I'm going to bring up her mic. Y'all know how I do. I like people to introduce themselves. So I'm going to bring up my her mic. Hello, Miss Allen. Are you there? I'm here. Well, you know what, Miss Allen? I want you to introduce yourself to the great listeners of the Business Knowledge Broker Hour and tell them about your greatness. All right, Miss. Um, I'm just one to one. Okay. That's what John B. stands for. That's what I go by. Um, Janika Allen is my name. Uh, John D. Design Incorporated is my company, JohnDDesign.com. And um, from that, I have branched off into so, much, so many areas of my creativity that I now, um, you know, my business has expanded to different areas when it comes to design. I do web design, I do web development, I'm a web manager, and I've been doing that for over 13 years. I've been doing graphic design work for many people across Louisiana and beyond since I was about 12 years old. And uh, I just, I'm infatuated with people, human beings. <laughs> I'm infatuated with uh, just our creativity, yeah. our, our differences, our likenesses, and I bring all of that into my experience as an artist. And um, I went ahead and I've always been into technology, so I pursued more of an education technology path once I went into my postgraduate degree. And then I ended up teaching myself web coding languages. Oh wow! Um, because I saw a need and I saw the direction in where we were going with this whole digital world and digital technology, <laughs> and I, I branched up into also teaching and instructing the youth and the adults on design technology, web design, coding languages, and it's just been so fulfilling. So, I mean, that's just been great um, that I set forth these goals and, and, and I set forth the target and I so far you know reached the top goals of my life and what I want to do and what's my passion and that's art and psychology so that's my introduction <laughs> <laughs> I love it I love it because 
this is the thing you created a powerhouse okay you know uh, let, let's be real jundi design is a powerhouse not only do you do the graphic design you have the magazine you have look you have so many things okay i thought i was booked and busy okay you are booked and busy ma'am i didn't even i didn't even talk about the magazine talk about that magazine because i want to be in it so you need to talk about that yeah, so i can yeah. figure out how i could get in that magazine because first of all everything that i've seen from it is absolutely great and you have launched that magazine since 2019. I want you to tell everybody about that. Yes, please. Yes, QR and TM Digital Magazine. So let me give you guys the gist of the story. I started Queen Rising the Movement. It's an organization dedicated to empowering, educating, and enhancing the lives of women, specifically women in transition, whether it's from abuse, um, job loss, uh, incarceration, just wanted to provide resource outlets for women because yeah. I've been in the situation. You know, I'm a survivor and I just wanted to do something to give back. Well, I also suffer from a muscle condition. So it was getting kind of hard on me trying to move the movement. Yeah. And one day, Spirit just said, you need to go for with a magazine. Mm. And I had written down a magazine in 2015. Mm. And I put everything in detail in writing and I said I was gonna launch February 2019. And then I didn't do anything. <laughs> so when this thought came into my mind, you need to do the magazine, I was sitting in the hospital, just had a baby. Mm. Mm. And it was December, <laughs> and the date was for February 2019. And with everything in me, and a team of people, writers came together, and I launched on the date that I said. So that was an outlet for me in case I was down, suffering from the muscle condition, mm. the movement was still moving. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And that is why QRTM became a digital magazine. 2020, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it happened. You yeah. know what I mean? It, it, it yeah. happened. It happened for everybody. It happened. Yeah. So 2021, I'm here. And I'm still focused on building up that audience and getting people like you to pour in. You got we it. We promote each other and we reach those that we need to reach and the movement keeps moving. But see, this is the thing. This is this is the thing about your greatness, okay? So I'm gonna fangirl for a few <laughs> minutes because I can, it's my show, and I'm gonna do just that. You know, you were recently awarded the 2021 Best in STEM Award for the Women Beings Business. Yes, come on, STEM. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is a thing. Very uh, look. Creative See, that's just a thing. Tell us the the listeners, right? Because I know you and I interviewed after you know you won an award and everything like that. We did the red carpet thing, but I want you to tell people what that award meant for you, and tell us a little bit more about that category within itself. Because this is a thing. It speaks to everything that you're into. Art, artistry. It it speaks to technology. And it definitely means community. Tell the people about that. Yeah, when I was nominated, I was just so elated and grateful just to be nominated and put in the category. When I won, I felt like I was floating on clouds. I felt <laughs> yes. Like I finally gave my parents that. Some of what they sacrificed. Yep. Wow. And what they worked to support me yep. as a child. Yep. This is what children need. Mm -hmm. Resources. And that's what I said in my speech, and it came just all natural. I didn't write anything. It was just like the spirit was upon me, and I knew that this was bigger than me. But I knew I owed it to them because they did a lot to work hard, get me the computer, 
this little tablet thing that I had connected to my TV. Yes. Which was the first device I used to create any type of graphic design. Oh, wow. Before I had the computer. Yep. They also invested in Encyclopedia Britannica set. Yes. I think my parents still paying for mine. But you know, we ain't gonna talk about that. Girl, <laughs> girl <laughs> Like, I better get out here and do great. Yeah. Because I have great parents. Yeah. But also, them, it seems like people forget we, people of color, always in them. Yeah. Girl, say that one more time for the people in the back. Okay. People of color, we've always <laughs> been the leaders in STEM. Yep. Yeah. In the field that I'm in, it was male, Caucasian dominated, male, mm-hmm. Asian dominated. So for me, it was like motivation. Yeah. And you know who helped me? Who helped you? My black co- men of color team. Mm. They taught me mentored me when the website crashed because I put in the wrong home I had a black team come to uplift us and help me out yeah. I love that yeah I well, love you know you can, go, you can go back and say look at all the teachers yeah oh I yeah had. oh yeah mm-hmm. we only had one computer science teacher one art teacher and I had a I was in the art club Wow. All these things come to pour into me so that I can give back. Yeah. And, see, and giving back is in my business and in what teaching. Oh, yeah. Same. And see, yes. I, I love it because I used to be an educator and I used to teach computer applications to middle school and high school, right? Mm-hmm. And so, like, when I saw the award and then I saw all the greatness that you did, I was like, yes, she won that award. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the thing but this is the thing every woman that was in that category with her with miss allen they were phenomenal women in stem yeah you know they what i mean the, those those hidden voices that you don't hear about mm-hmm. you know yeah i love it and you, you guys I'm did a grateful, great job i'm grateful that other young black girls black boys can see that yeah and I'm grateful that I've had the opportunity to teach so many of our children of color in urban areas. Because I feel like instead of just playing with the technology, you're going to learn how to create it. Yeah. Yes. And that's what's so important um, about STEM is like getting kids exposed to it. Um, yeah. exposure is the biggest thing um, like that I've learned when I got exposed to STEM was just like that changed everything for me so getting kids involved in STEM and even seeing as you were saying like the games that you're playing like you could build those things um, Correct. so that that's really important I love it I'm so proud of you yes and I'm just I was so proud of myself for not giving up. And so I think this year, perfect with the Women Mean Business Award, Resilient Women of Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Because I just looked at and said, I almost gave up here, 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 and here. <laughs> and if I would have, I wouldn't be here. Yes, Lord. I love it. And the thing about it is, is that everything that i've seen that you have cultivated from the beginning from when you first started all the way through now see that's the thing when i have people on this show i track their journey because i want to know i want to know who i'm talking to first and foremost you know like i ain't a facebook stalker i didn't stalk you not yet it's research it's research but the thing about it is that when you sit back and you take a collective view of someone's evolution that's powerful yeah you know what i mean like it's, it's absolutely powerful so You know, I thank you for being that voice, for being, you know, that person in STEM that, you know, all kids can look up to and say, hey, if she can do it, I can do it, too. Yes. You know, and that's that's really what it's about. If you can do it, then I can do it. And we need to see more. And so for that award, 
you know, for that award show, I was honored to do those red carpet interviews mm -hmm. because these are people that otherwise I wouldn't have never known existed. Yeah. How can I know their greatness and their hidden? Yeah, that's why I really appreciate the award. Mm -hmm. Just highlighting what we're actually doing, getting it out of the mud, yep. moving from one thing to the next. People telling you you're doing too much. <laughs> oh, yes, it's all creativity. I'm a creative person. I could do anything. I put my mind to on this computer now. Yes, <laughs> yes. And see, I I love that. And so that's why I say I want you to, you know, for those that are listening in, and it may be you know, someone having their kid sitting next to the radio and they're listening right now. What are some words of wisdom that you would give them in regards to getting into STEM? Words to get into STEM. Yeah. You have the power to create the world you live in. Yeah and create the technology that runs our daily lives and it is so fun i love it yeah <laughs> i love it I, it is fun it, it is fun being a creative it's inspiring and it's fun mm -hmm. i love and that that's why i'm just one new desire all right so miss jundy how can the listeners of the Business Hours Broker Hour get in touch with you and get all of your greatness because you already know we're going to connect more than just this show. You already know that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, Queen Rising, the movement, we need to go ahead and get that back out in print. So you let me know what you need in order to push that forward. I appreciate it. That was just, you know, overwhelmed trying to see what lot that I could do and, and get it popping. But then things happen. So I'm gonna push the digital side. Yeah. And I'm gonna push out more. We have good relationships with um, the shelters here in New Orleans. Okay. The house and the women and children's shelter. So I've been doing a lot for them through the organization. Okay. Um, I wanna go ahead and push out the information that we were pushing out when it came to finance, help, nutrition yeah you know everything that affects our kingdom understand because we should be building up ourselves and our kingdom will build up as we build up yeah i love it i love so, it our qrpm digital mag.com that's the website for the magazine mm -hmm. and johndesign.com is my website and I'm currently updating my website. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too. I need to call Girl. you and, and get your tips on that. Me too. Girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing my website and a couple of others, but I said it's time. Yes, ma'am. For me to, you know, level up to. Okay. But uh, Facebook, John D. Design, Inc. And Instagram, John D. Design. Oh. I just want to shout out my husband. He's the true CEO, <laughs> Corey Allen. Love you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah, all cute. right. I, and I appreciate that. A good support system and good support team is always needed. Look, so thank yeah. you, Brother Allen. Tell Brother Allen, thank you. Thank you, Brother Allen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Well, well, I wish you success in everything that you do. And please reach out to me. Look, you got my personal phone number, okay? There is no excuse not to reach out to me and tell me what you guys need down there to push your vision forward. Because you know you got my, you know I got your back. And I know you got mine. I, I appreciate it. And I thank you. And we will stay connected. Will you suck with me now? <laughs> no running away. No, that's all right. Look, look, you guys know when I pull up, just make sure you got some red beans and rice ready for me. Child. And, and uh, look, I'm coming. That's all I got to say. I'll be back in the state in about two weeks. Awesome. Well, the weather is not like it is now. Cold. Yeah. Child. We enjoy our March weather. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Y'all, y'all be safe out there as well. I just want to say thanks to Orion. Women Mean Business Awards for mm -hmm. this. You know, setting all of this up. And lastly, Teresha Rell, she is the co-editor of QRTM Digital Man. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Well, thank, thank you, you anytime, anytime. And anybody that you know that needs to get on the mic, you know, tell them to text me, tell them to call me. Let's get them on and let's share people's greatness out here. Yeah, let's do it. Word. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. You too. You honey, too. Love you too. Bye. The business knowledge broker. Hey, yo, guru, you ready? Business marketing.